Hey guys, welcome to Unreal Labs. Uh, got a quick video today. Going to do a video on uh, configuring uh, FTP, secure FTP on a Ubuntu uh, machine. Should be pretty quick. Um, I am going to show a little bit of my VMware setup. I'm going to show you how I clone uh, VMs really quick. I love this VM workstation. Um, I do have <clears throat> VMware ESXi in my lab and um, a Hyper-V box. I don't use the Hyper-V box too much. I will be doing more videos or doing some videos on, on Hyper-V, but um, I tend to be in this VMware workstation most of the time. So I do have like a master image I've made uh, of Ubuntu, and that's just a normal install of Ubuntu. I think it's just Ubuntu desktop makes it easy. Um, so right now I'm going to, I'm just going to select that, uh, Linux image here I have under my, I call it master images, but I, if I right click on that, go to manage and clone, uh, I'm going to do the current state. I do have a snapshot for it, but I'm just going to use the current state of the virtual machine. So any changes that are there. And I'm not going to do a, I mean, you could do a full clone, but I, I usually just do link clones for these videos <clears throat> and then destroy them. So we'll do a linked clone and I'll just call it a secure FTP and finish. And then this takes, yeah, exactly like five seconds to get this done. <clears throat> Excuse me. If uh, you did a full clone, it might take five or 10 minutes to copy over the disk plus this doesn't uh create a whole new virtual hard drive uh the size of the main master image so we'll hit close there and then we should see uh i'll move this up into miscellaneous images and we'll boot it and see what happens the more i use this vmware workstation the more i like it um I've used VirtualBox for, <clears throat> excuse me, many years, but uh, yeah, VMware Workstation is just so handy. It's worth the two hundred dollar license. All right, so she's booted. Let's sign in here. So what's nice about this is any changes I make in this cloned image uh, aren't going to get moved over to this Linux master image. So you can kind of mess things up and, and do things. It's it's pretty neat. Test stuff um, without blowing up your your main image or your main machine. It's, it's, it's pretty neat. All right, so I'm going to fire terminal up. We don't have secure FTP going right now. I hope that's big enough for you guys to see. I always forget how to... Uh, let me see here. Um, window, yeah, that's fine. All right. So we'll do... I need to sudo app update. I just need to... I want to update this machine here. I'm going to have a video on messing with Pi-hole recently, um, which is, I, I played with it kind of years ago, but uh, I forgot how neat that thing is. It doesn't work. Uh, Pi-hole's uh, kind of an ad blocker, a network ad blocker, but there's some pretty neat, other neat stuff you can do with it, and I'll do some videos on that if you guys are interested. I'm interested, so I'll do some videos. Uh, so let's do, uh, let's install OpenSSH that this machine doesn't have. So sudo app install OpenSSH server. Sorry, my throat is a little bit rough today. All right, and then we'll, uh, let's check. 
the status, make sure it's it's running. Yep, it's active. All right, so that looks good. Um, so uh, now let's uh, modify the SSH config. I think if I'm right there, SSH, SSHD config. I think, pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. All right. So I'm going to copy some lines in because I'm too lazy to type them. Uh, and this should give me, oh, give me some, well, maybe I will have to type them. So we're match group. So we want to match a group secure. I'm going to call it script to users. Um, we're going to ch root directory home. So h. Uh, let's see, force command internal SFTP. Wow. TCP forwarding, no, we don't want that. And then uh, what else do we want? Yeah, password authentication. Yes. Uh, we will be adding, a, I will add a couple more things to this log. I just want to get the F, uh, SFP working and then we'll, uh, thinking about we can add some, we can turn on some authentication at the end of the video. Um, See how that goes. I hope my audio is good. I've been having some trouble with this mic. I need to purchase a, a little better mic. My mic is terrible, and I apologize ahead of time. <clears throat> All right, so we can get out of this config here. We'll save it. Control X. Yes. Let's write that. So now we need to make a. Let's make a user. I mean, I have my main user there, Unreal, as you can see, but let's do, just so you guys can see that. So, sudo add group. We need to add that SFTP group, right? And then we need to sudo add user. Uh, we'll do Tiberius, my dog's name. And then set a password for him. Uh, Tiberius. We don't need any of that. And then we'll add him to the group. So sudo add user Tiberius to SFTP group. All right, so he's in there. He's in the group. All right, so let's. Uh, we need to see ch root um, the user. We want to. We want to give root full permissions to these these directories just as a security uh, precaution. We don't want to make sure. We want to make sure that root owns uh, these home drives, so they can't you know take over permissions. So we'll do that now. So sudo ch own root root home and then it's going to be tiberius right uh so that should be home directory and sudo ch own or actually i'm going to do the ch mod i want to assign rights to tiberius right sure he has rights in there and we should i should do a video over on uh, linux rights it's kind of a crazy it's pretty easy once you understand it but it's um kind of confusing with the numbers if you come from windows which i do so it took me a little bit to get used to it mkdir um i'm gonna make this uh little location that uh, Tiberius can copy files in, so we're making a 
<coughs> directory called files. And ch, and we're going to give him uh, rights to that. So sudo ch own. Well, he's going to own that directory. Tiberius sftp users home Tiberius files. Right. All right. Oh, not users. Yeah, it's caught me there. Still the. Must be still sleeping. All right. SFTP group. All right, there we go. Pseudo system CTL restart SSH. I just want to restart that. And I'm going to also modify the firewall for Ubuntu and allow SSH just in case that's not <clears throat> that's not open. All right, so great. So uh let's check the ip of this machine here it should be on dhcp so yeah we're we're that's with this ip adder command so we're that's its ip so we should be able to use there we go let's make i use this mobile term love this this uh there's a free version you don't have to have the professional if you just have a couple sessions but one of the best, I think, terminals out. Um, we'll do a new session. Uh, secure FTP. And we'll enter that IP here. And then I'll add the username, Tiberius. And then there's some settings you can choose to. All kinds of pretty neat. It's this, this uh, terminal is awesome. All right, so it's prompt us for our password. Uh, I'm not going to save it, but there we go. All right, so we know that SSH secure secure FTP is working. Uh, but let's try some stuff here. So let me, uh, I've got some documents here. We'll try to copy. And as you can see, we're not able to do anything here. So I'm getting this deny here, which is fine. What we wanted, right? Uh, if he goes into his files location and we do the same copy, actually, I'll make a directory real quick. And if we copy this again, copy, upload, nope, oh, what am I doing? There we go. Am I getting to the guy again? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we'll do the next text document here. Do I have a bug? Interesting. Uh, looks like I don't have some permissions. Let me uh, go back here real quick and see what I did. It's still the morning. And this is what happens when you're configuring things. Yeah, so it must have been a bug. So I had, uh, I'll have to submit that. But yeah, it looks like it's a bug in this terminal for some reason. That's, that's kind of rare. Uh, so I logged back in. Went to files, um, and yeah, it's transferring now. Totally fine. Um, so yeah, maybe they can fix that uh, if somebody from the Mobex term watches this video. All right, so we're doing good. We have uh, we've got a user who's able to. Uh, and as you can see here, permissions here are getting created correctly. So read writes. Um, and they're not able to actually copy anything uh, to the folders. We don't want them to. So we want them to put their stuff in files. Uh, and they can make folders and they can copy files here all day long. Uh, but let's go back and um, let's turn some auditing on. 
upgrade yet. So let's turn some logging on here. Let's just see. Let's actually just see if it is doing any kind of auditing right now. Um, on the log there, off log. Yeah, it actually is. Okay, so we're, we're doing all right. So here we go. Accepted password for Tiberius. So, yeah, that... This location here, this file, this off log will tell you if you want to actually see who's logging in uh, to the secure FTP server. Um, and we can get fancy with that if we want to. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, but as we can see, we're... we're uh, there's the accepted user for Tiberius, and that's the IP of my local machine. So yeah, there you go. Uh, so that's secure FTP in a nutshell. Um, so if you wanted to create other users, like I said, you would just, you would follow the steps uh, for creating a user, right? Previously we did here, uh, you'd want to ch root them, right? Into their local home directory, give them permissions. You don't have to do the files location. I just, I kind of like making a separate directory um and you could probably modify i know it's cape you could you could modify that location um to actually drop them in the files location if you wanted to um which probably makes more sense but yeah just a quick video um i'm sure there's a ton of these out here but i uh, appreciate you guys watching and i appreciate the subscribe uh the new subscribers um yeah you guys have a great day and um, leave a comment if you guys want to do a have me do a video on VMware Workstation. Let me know. Uh, I have that ESXi uh, comment for that ESXi. Uh, I'm working on that. That's a little bit bigger video because I'm going to rebuild all of that. So it'll be kind of a three or four part series. That's that's kind of a big one. But no, no worries there. Uh, appreciate your time. Thanks again for watching.